Hi, everybody. Brian Shercliffe here. Yeah, Brian's there. Cynthia Allen here. We're very excited to be with you, you incredibly enthusiastic diehard people. That means that you are really, uh, truly wanting your bones for life and are, and really a diehard is not a very good term in that context. We need a new term, don't we? It's a kind of new term. Uh, we'll get, wait just a moment for people to get in and, um, and join us. I'll just remind you of a couple of things while we're doing that beautiful. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Say where you're from. Everybody loves to see where each other's from and who's here. And also that we love having your cameras on. And we try not to have you on if you uh, are just in the background. But once in a while, things happen. So be sure your camera is off if that bothers you in any way. Or when you go to ask a question, you don't want to be seen by people for thousands and thousands, even though there may only be a hundred or 200 that show up here today, it'll be watched by thousands on replay. So just remember that, please, if you don't want to be seen. And we have been having an incredible uh, series together. I mean, Brian, has that, has those big ahas inspired you? Oh my goodness. Yeah. I, I go and do these processes all over again, seeing the results people are I getting. I know. I know. I, I feel like every time I see another one, I'm like, wow. I mean, some of them have been so impressive. And then some of you have done not gone through just all three videos once, but have been doing them on replay. Wowza. That's in incredible. And then for those of you who have entered big ahas, we have um, actually 454 of you that did big ahas. What way to go. Wow. I mean, way to go. And I, I think, you know, we want you to definitely give yourself, yes, hi people, you always inspire us too. So it's great to be inspired by our students, isn't it? Heidi's another teacher from South Carolina, Bones for Life teacher from South Carolina, who we dearly love. Um, so uh, it's incredible. And I want you to give yourselves really big pats on the back because over 5,000 people signed up for the series. Wow. And a lot of people have watched these videos. 500, 454 of you, 454 of you are the, are the ones who said, I'm going to get the last little drop out of this. I'm going to take my time to think about what is my big takeaway from each session. So kudos to you all kudos to you now we said that we would announce a winner today so we are going to announce a winner today in the big aha contest then i'm going to do the big reveal well the the winner's kind of a big reveal too but i'm going to do the big reveal on the 2023 program and then we're going to bounce on heels together as a kind of a segue and uh, uh to mark our last meeting of this type together and then we will do questions and answers. So all those things that you've been wondering about, about the program, we're going to answer today. Uh, as you know, Brian Shercliffe is one of the primary instructors. Andrea, Sher uh, Andrea Tut cannot be with us today, but she's the other primary instructor. And then I am the trainer for the program, Cynthia Allen. So let's see here. Uh, what kind of a sound can we get, Brian, to get ready to announce the big winner? How's that? I can't hear it. You can't hear it? I can't hear it. Go louder. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody get your hands out on your tabletop and everybody on your tabletop make some noise. <laughs> make some noise. And here we go. The winner is, the winner is Brenda Lowe. Brenda Lowe has won the first immersion immersion one 425 450 i'm sorry 450 so she will be attending immersion one this round at no charge but of course we know already she's gotten tremendous things out of it and she is way going to get her money's worth way going to get her money's worth out of that gift that uh that she's winning here and i want to read you just one of her big ahas let me just find it here I'm going to read the one from, from uh, session three. They were all really nice. And by the way, it was a random drawing. It had nothing to do with what you said, uh, but uh, you did need to say something. So anybody who just put big aha and nothing, I'm sorry, you did not get credit. Uh, but here uh, we have Brenda who says, 
big aha, I'm noticing that my primary pattern of thinking that the mind has to lead the way in healing is being challenged. Perhaps the body is an equal partner in the process. And then she put a little emoji that says, hmm. <laughs> she's thinking, she's thinking, I don't know if she's here. Let's see if she's here. Brenda, is Brenda here? Just to, to just so we can say hi to her, maybe. Let me get that up on this. Uh, well, there are some Brenda's here, but I don't know if that's her. So if it's you, Brenda, raise your virtual hand. Brenda without a last name. It is. Hi, it's Brenda Lowe. Well, congratulations, Brenda. Can I unmute you so you can just say something? Like they little like the Academy Awards or something, right? Yeah, okay. I just asked you to unmute, Brenda. Hi, everybody. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm excited. Thank you. Oh, good. Good. We'll be glad. We'll be very glad to have you in the program, Brenda. So it'll be, you're going to have a blast. And that's what we're going to talk about today is what's going to happen in the program. So Brian, I'm going to let you go and I'm going to go straight into a PowerPoint, make sure I've got everything the way it's supposed to be here before I make you all have to look at my big screen. Sorry, I had a last minute uh, computer failure, had to change to other computers. So I've got a bit of a hodgepodge here right at the moment. And let me get this closed. So people talk to themselves while they're getting things ready. Here I am doing it. Okay, here we go. Why is it showing me all those things? Are you all seeing? Okay, I think you're seeing the right thing. So that's good. I think we're, I think we're good. I think we're good. So here we are discussing Bones for Life. It's a program that was created by Ruthie Alon. And we talked about that in immersion. I mean, in session one of the free series. And my down button isn't working. So what else can I do to go to my next slide? Okay, and maybe that's what I'm going to do. So it's it's time now for us to really get into this skeletal transformation that we call Bones for Life. We want to improve our movement. We want to improve our balance. We want to extend our enjoyment in life and our ability to do those things that we feel called to do. And I want to tell the story of three people. Uh, that have taken the program with us. They actually have gone on to become teachers as well. But I feel that um, they all start at the beginning, uh, wherever you're going to start with us, they started there too. This is Beth. Beth is a physical therapist. She was diagnosed with osteoporosis. She's also a Feldenkrais practitioner, by the way. She knew Ruthie Alon. She was really excited to to take the Bones for Life work. And she kept thinking, you know, I'll do it with Ruthie. And then, you know, time goes by, years go by, how busy we all get. And uh, she ended up taking it with us because Ruthie died two years ago. And um, Beth, one of the things that Beth had noticed that as she was aging and she got that diagnosis of osteoporosis, which it scared her, even though she knows a lot, she knows a lot more than I know about uh, virtually any medical condition and what it means to the body as a physical therapist. She found that she was being pretty doggone cautious about uh, and worried about falling. And she has these lovely grandchildren. Can you see those kids? They are active. And one of the things she wanted from the program was to feel free that she could run after her new puppy, that she could run and play with the grandkids. And she says she feels like she has such a sure foot now and she knows where her foot is being planted all the time. It's really lovely. Also, I like the fact that a few years ago, Beth saw me post a video of us teaching people how to fall in immersion three. You don't have to worry. You don't have to learn that. 
but she was very fascinated by the people who were participating in that. So that's way down the line in the program in Immersion 3. And she's and I and she made some, she made a comment, something about, I would like to know how to do that. And I said, Well, you, you if you stick with me, you will. And then she did sign up for the Bones for Life program. And she brought this up that she said, I remember when you said if you would stick with me, I'd be able to do it. And now here I am doing it. So it's a lovely. I feel like it's a lovely uh, story all around, both from her professional background and also her personal background and for her grandkids and for her puppy and for her. This is Nikki Owens. Nikki Owens joined us. Uh, actually, came, she came through Brian. Brian and Nikki had trained with him for uh, part of her yoga, at least. I'm not sure if it was the whole thing or not. And she has a doctorate. She's extremely well-educated. She uh, runs Mint Yoga here in Cincinnati. She's definitely a lifetime student of as many things as she can absorb. And she loves yoga. She surely loves yoga. But she did get two yoga injuries that she talks about with us. One in which somebody was doing an adjustment with her on a day that she said she knew her body really wasn't ready for it. And and before she could say stop, the person had done, had done it and she could just feel her hamstring tearing like little pearls. It's so evocative the way she talks about it. And then she had also been adjusted in another yoga session uh, through the head and had really found a neck injury. So she, one of the things she talks about is how bouncing on heels, when Brian started teaching her bouncing on heels way back when, she began to discover right there healing for her neck. And honestly, that wouldn't have come to my mind as the place to begin for her neck or for most anybody's neck. So I love that she, she has me thinking, got me thinking a lot about, well, what does that mean that um, she's, she, uh, got so much relief for her neck, right? And she put that into her pattern to start to bring about healing. And then just through the work, found this ability to stay with herself, be embodied, be within her experience in a way that she just didn't have before that. So it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So that this is what you're probably wanting something of. You might want to be uh, out walking with your friends, with your family, with your dog, with your cat, um, with your, um, I don't know, I saw somebody walking an emotional support alligator. I don't know, maybe, maybe. Um, you want to be able to do maybe some kind of activity that you have given up. And, you know, these activities could be house cleaning, like nobody thinks about uh, the number of people who are disappointed that they're no longer healthy enough to do house cleaning, but it's a lot. It's a lot of people. It really is. Vacuuming is a strenuous activity if you have a hurt back. Uh, picking things up and down, mopping, uh, just having the energy for loading washers, taking clothes out, folding, but also outdoor activities uh, like, like golf or pickleball, which is, of course, the rage now. And, and um, you know, whatever it is in your life that you're thinking you would like to get back to, there's something, right? There's something which would be great if you were to put that in the chat. What is that something that you would like to claim in your life that maybe you haven't been able to? Yeah, you all are seeing the correct slideshow. I see what, I see what, uh, I know I have a big screen that shows it's correct, but gosh, I hope it's what you're seeing. Okay, good. Uh, kayaking, dancing, get back to running. Beautiful. Laura, Denise, Karina. Walking in the mountains from Jillian. Mm, Nora, Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. uh, Robbie, pickleball would be nice. Running in general. Jane, swimming. Sue, not falling. Yeah, so I'm gonna reframe that, Sue. Staying upright. Good balance. I want to state it as a positive. So uh, great. Feeling safe. I love that. Feeling safe. We cannot un underestimate that. That's the pinning of everything else everybody else has, has written. Uh, walking, Tai Chi, getting out of the kayak independently, hiking, walking mountains, climbing down with balance, feeling, walking tall. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Thank you so much for that. Yes, keep them feeling safer, yeah. What is showing is the Q screen from the current slide. Well, take on it. Greg, that is not what's showing on my end. What in the heck? I hate that. I'll just admit, I don't like that at all. No, I'm gonna make the yeah, worst problem now. I hope I get credit for the fact that I spent the hour right before this trying to get it working, get onto a new computer. I don't know where it got that view from. I've never used that view before. I never used it. Let's see if I can move this and see more. Let's see if I can move this, I can finally close that. Display settings. Is that better? Is that better? Is that better for you? Better, all? better, better. We better. Oh, I did something. You did it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got a little something right working right there. Good. I, I do have to look down now to read all your chats. So I'm sorry for my looking down. I've got Again, just a lot of different pieces cobbled together here to try to get them to work. Okay, let's see if my button works now. Okay, great. So, oh, okay. So now Lorraine, Lorraine was, um, is a Pilates instructor, a longtime Pilates instructor, fitness instructor. She really actually didn't come to Bones for Life with something so significantly in mind for herself, although she says that it made a really big difference for her and her sense of embodiment and feeling herself. But one of the things, and she loves Pilates, she, you know, she loves what she does. Everybody, everybody here loves what they do. They're not giving up what they do. What they're looking for is how can something else uh, enhance what they already do. And uh, so she was looking for, she was noticing that when she would uh, help her ladies as she calls them, uh, in her Pilates work, she felt like often they got up, they got off of the, the mat or the piece of equipment, and she would see them walk to the area where the coats were. And she said it felt like as they were putting on their coats, they were just gradually slipping back into their old habit, that they didn't even keep it from the time they left the mat when they first stood up to walk over. And what she saw in Bones for Life is that people were maintaining it, even coming back the next week and showing that it was integrating into their lives. So very, very powerful, I think. So we are gonna get into the real nitty gritty here. So, well, you wanna join us for your own health or you wanna join us for teacher training, it doesn't really matter. Everybody starts at the same place, which is, the basic immersion and now yeah basic immersion so we're going to get right into true details right down to pricing so a single immersion is $450 it's 20 hours long there will be three options a week that you can choose from that for your scheduling convenience uh, one of them is fairly appealing to the uh, Asia Eurasia time zone so we've tried to make something that can work for just about everyone. Um, in the basic, what we call the basic program for Bones for Life, we have um, immersions one, two, and three. One, two, and three. And you can take all three right from the beginning and save money. You sign up for all three right from the beginning and save money. I don't recommend this unless you are really healthy and you really know about movement, I think that those of you who are not quite sure, you should sign up for immersion one and make your decision as you go so you don't feel pressured that you've committed to something that you don't know anything about. I mean, you know something now, but the Bones for Life work is really so much more varied than what we've been able to show you. So I, I, I always say, for most people, you're gonna to wanna to sign up for immersion one. 
there are going to be some of you for sure. Every time they say, I already know I'm going to take all three immersions and I'm going to get the basic certification, which is a prerequisite to go on for teacher training. And if you do that, we reward that by helping you save $200 because it helps us if we know how many people want to continue on down the path. And then there is a phase two, which is the true teacher training. So if you sign up right now for everything, all three immersions, so that's the basic certification plus the teacher training overall, you also save another $400. So it's a very exciting um, opportunity for you to consider whether it's for yourself or for yourself and for your students or whether you're somebody who feels like you, you know, uh, you just know you want to keep adding to the work. And you can also be thinking about teaching this work for the first time. Maybe you're somebody who's retiring or going through a new phase of life. We get a lot of that where people are like, I think I might want to sh share this with some people. That's also okay. So I'm going to be covering all of these options, but it's Whatever option is right for you is the one we want you to take. We don't want you to feel pressured by these other options. So you can get, however, when you do that entire thing, phase one and phase two, basic puts teacher, you will also get a convenient payment plan. You'll get three manuals. The manuals only come to people uh, who are in the teacher training program, and that's nothing that we can control. That's a national uh, guideline. Whoops. Um, yeah, so convenient payment plan, three manuals. Also, we do have some limited number partial scholarships that when you get to the actual page for this, you'll be able to see that under the frequently asked questions, the FAQ, and you can apply for one of those if you need financial aid. So what's in an immersion? Well, it's 20 hours of classroom instruction time on Zoom. It's a five week program that starts uh, in, uh, I think I forgot to put which week of February, we'll, we'll grab it. It's clearly not there. I think it's uh, the last week of February, but we'll find it here in a minute. You can choose between three days of the week, Mondays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time or Eastern Standard Time. We're still in Eastern Standard, but it'll be switching to Eastern Daylight very quickly in this program. Wednesdays and Fridays, which is 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that means instead of meeting for four and a half hours with a half hour lunch break and other small breaks, the Wednesday Friday group meets twice in the week. And you would come to both of them and they're each two hours long or on Fridays from 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So like Mondays, it's four and a half hours. We'll talk about that length of time, because I know it, for a lot of people, it sounds really daunting, but it actually is, it's very doable for the majority of people. Then if you decide to continue on, you've gotten, if you do all three of those immersions, you will have done the basic certification, which is 60 hours, and then you'll complete phase two, which is the teacher certification to come up with 210 hours. That's gonna include 90 hours with me, 36 hours of practice teaching, and 24 hours of mentoring. And then you get, of, of those 24 hours, up to three of them are privately with me. You also get the three hard copy manuals with details of the processes and the thinking behind them. We get a private discussion group. And in all of these programs, by the way, you get unlimited access to the replays. It doesn't matter which level you sign up, you'll, you'll have the replays from your class but you will also get access to class series in which I'm teaching people with limited mobility to get more ideas about how to work with people. If you decide that you want to become a teacher, this is you, or you think you want to become a teacher before you sign up for that, think hard about your attendance because I, I require that you attend 75% of the sessions live from the beginning in basic, as well as in the teacher training for certification. I want to know, we want to see you moving, we want to know you're engaged, so it has to really fit your schedule. You can make up in uh, the other times of the week, uh, but you, you, know, you don't want it to feel like you have to make a hodgepodge of the situation in order to meet your requirements. And even though 
Almost the entire program is online for teachers only. There's a final retreat done live in person for seven days. And that's to allow us to go over processes that are difficult to teach online in any healthy way. We want to really dig into observing others in movement in a very detailed uh, manner. Learn how we use touch, which is a very different thing you will find uh, using touch in most programs, a very different quality and a much safer quality. And then also just be sure that you experience the dynamics of what happens when people are teaching in person because um, it's different than on Zoom for sure. Now, we should talk about who isn't this program a great match for. It's not and who it is. So it's a great match. Let's start with that. It's a great match for anybody who wants to do something more in their life. And they feel maybe like they've run out of options with traditional therapy or exercise programs. They're not really getting any further. Um, they want to they wanna feel their self, their body, their, their experience from the inside out. Uh, and they're relatively healthy. That doesn't mean that you don't have any problems or diagnoses, but you aren't worried about getting injured. Okay, that's not high on your mind. Now, who this isn't a great match for is somebody who's had recent surgery. You should be completely healed from your surgery and dismissed by your physician for full activity, including an exercise program. Somebody who's had recent fractures they, those fractures need to be healed. And if, they're, if they were osteoporotic fractures, you should have worked with a physical therapist before you come into Bones for Life so that you understand what is your unique situation, gotten out of the pain of those fractures, which can take several months usually to uh, resolve. Uh, uh, and then uh, if your physical therapist says you're good to go, and you, you feel you can track yourself in the class, then you are welcome to join us. It's, re, it's important to remember, this is a class environment. And while it's not huge classes, we will not be able to watch every single person in the manner that's needed if you are going to be a situation where you could really hurt yourself. We, that's really private work. And we could be happy to refer you to someone to see privately and do private Bones for Life sessions until you were ready to join a class, okay? So it's such a, a blessing, um, you know, even on Zoom, we have made so many friends this last few years between Brian and I. This is a, a process called um, Pulling Hands in which we're learning a lot about garnering our power from deep within in order to be partners with other people um, in the process, but I would say also in any kind of endeavor that you want to make in life, you have to have some pull, you have to have some push, you have to have some going along for the ride, you have to have some stability in the middle of yourself. And the program that you can dive into today, and I'm going to show it to you here as well, I hope, is Bones for Life dot us bonesforlife.us if you want to look it up bonesforlife.us and hope you're going to join us so you can awaken your biological optimism let me try to get us over to the actual web page because i want to help you navigate that just a little bit Apparently it closed everything out on me here. So I'll look. Oh. Resiliency, Cynthia, resiliency. Okay, so you can see that screen now, is that correct? Can somebody say so in the chat maybe? Yes, yes. Yeah. Good. Okay. So when you go to bonesforlife.us, you're going to see this, of course, at the top. I'm actually going to scroll you down fairly quickly because you can take all the time that you want to read about this, right? We should, you should take your time, but I want to get you down to some of the things that are going to, you're going to find, like you're already thinking to yourself, 
could they have made that any more complicated? Uh, so we've tried hard not to make it so complicated, but it's a lot of different directions that people can choose to go and we want to accommodate what everybody is looking for. So you'll, when you uh, get down to this area, it starts to talk again about phase one and they'll tell you what happens in each immersion, 20, 22 to 26 new movement processes. There are 90 by the way, in total in the Bones for Life program. So in each immersion we'll cover 22 to 26. It's pretty rare that we don't cover 26 but our emphasis is on the quality of the learning and not on getting through material for the sake of getting through material. And that's really important. And then there also really are processes that teaching them online is just you watching other people do it. It's not really a great experience. So there's not, in our opinion, a lot of reason to dive in and spend a bunch of time on it there because we want you to be able to do it safely. They're usually more risky processes. We would like to be with you when you're doing it for the first time. So we're, we're kind of particular that way. And then you will have unlimited access to the replays. And there will be a separate Facebook group from the one that you're currently in. So you can talk to each other. And so then it goes on to some of those details here. It tells you all the particular dates. So it starts the last week of February. It's not the full week. So it just barely starts in February. And you'll see all the dates here of it. And then you'll see a, a conversation about um, phase two as well. This is really the part I want to help you with. We have some drop down items here. And this is how it will show up on your screen. So you, you're gonna answer one of these questions and then you're gonna click on it. I wanna take it from my own health. We recommend that if that's the reason you're taking it, you click on that first one and you find out what your options are there and it's gonna then take you to a place that you can register. If you think I might wanna teach it and I would like some continuing education out of the whole thing, then you click on the second one and that's gonna give you the option to do phase one. If you already know in your heart, you wanna become a certified Bones for Life teacher, then you're gonna click on that one and you will um, <clears throat> get the details on how to become a certified teacher and register under that one. Now, there are a very few of you who have already taken Immersion 1 with us or somebody else. Could you put your names in the chat if you've already taken Immersion 1 with us or someone else? Just say yes, me, or something like that. You, you may not have shown up today because you don't realize it, but yeah, good. So if you, yeah, great. So like, Anne, if Anne said, I wanna take immersion three next, she can click on that last one. If Janice says, I don't wanna do another immersion, what I really want now is a weekly class to touch in, she's gonna click on that last one because for the first time ever, for people who've at least taken immersion one, you can't take it unless you've taken immersion one with us, we need to know everybody is starting at about the same level. You can do a weekly class with Brian. It's a short class. It's not for continuing ed. It's not for um, counting towards teacher training. It's for people who wanna just keep dipping in, keep dipping in. Mm -hmm. This is for bonesforlife.us, bonesforlife.us. Let's see if I can put it in the message here. Just that. There you go, bonesforlife.us. And we're going to take those questions at the end, Jana. That, that's a great question. So that's your biggie. You've got 10 days, 11 hours, because we have, it's a, it's a process. We got to get your information in. We got to make sure you get all your release forms signed. We got to get you started into the course all at the same time in order for us to be able to treat you well. So um, very important that uh, we have a timeline that starts and stops so that we can serve all of you extraordinarily well. I'm gonna stop scaring the screen, which has really been kind of flunky for me anyway. And... So much information, right? So much information. So we're gonna we're gonna sort of shake some of that information off by bouncing on heels together. 
And since I can't uh, stand, maybe Brian doesn't mind doing the standing and I'll be in solidarity with those of you who can't stand. And, um, and we can talk about that, by the way, if you're someone who can't stand right now, can't get to the floor, please ask questions. We wanna talk about that, about how, how you fit or maybe don't fit or what kind of accommodations you would need. And let's just come back to hand on the heart for a minute, because this will be of this group, this is our last chance, right? To be together in just this particular way. We've had a great three sessions together over the last week and a half. Good, great. So we add our pum pum, pum pum, pum pum, pum pum, pum pum, pum pum, pum pum. Okay, let's put our fists on our legs or for those of you who are standing and let's just take a moment to think a little bit about alignment. So what, without forcing yourself into something, just like the slightest invitation to grow tall and long into the earth and up. Let's do bouncing on heels together. Pum pum, 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 pum pum. Last one. And I see that some of you are taking our Bones for Life Challenge to bounce on heels 10 to 20 times, three times a day. Some of you've been checking in already, telling us how it goes. So thank you very much for that. And uh, walk around for a moment, relieve your sense of, those of you who wanna walk around, relieve your sense of sitting. And then we're gonna take questions. We'd love to hear from you. There's so many things to address, but it's almost it's so much more fun to address them as the questions come in. And then we'll we'll try to circle to some of the others uh, that we may think are still missing, just based on what everybody else asked. No, we're sorry you have to leave too, Kelly. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see if we can grab here. So Jana says, I'm gonna let you take this one, Brian. I can only do about 15 minutes of a lesson. Do you think immersion one is not for me? I can't do those long hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what do you think, Brian? Great question. So a couple options. So option, first option is the Wednesday, Friday combination is shorter. It's already designed to be shorter, right? It's two hours long. Each of them are two hours long. So that's one option. Uh, another option that a lot of people have done is that they have signed up for whichever is most convenient, whichever option is most convenient, the Monday, the Wednesday, Friday, or the Friday, and have stayed as long as they've Felt comfortable. They stay with the group for 15 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour. And I love it because sometimes people actually wave like, this is my time I'm leaving and they'll let the wave and then they'll catch up on the replay, you know, the next few days after the class has happened. So people can really then, you know, take these ideas as they're most ready and fits in their schedule and everything else. So there are lots of different ways to do this. The great gift is the replays are so easy too. They're so easy to access. And it's, it's even very easy to find out where you left off because you can- Oh, I forgot to talk, say it about that, didn't I, Brian? Yeah, those replays and those chapters. Go tell it, tell it. <laughs> oh, you tell it much better than I do. You tell it, you tell it about the chapter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we actually put in chapters. So even though it's a four-hour recording, if it's on Monday or Friday mornings, or if it's on Wednesday and Fridays, which answers the question to R, it's not that Wednesday is only two hours, it's Wednesday and Friday, they add up to four. So you have if you sign up for Wednesday evening, you're also signing up for Friday evening, that adds up to four. Um, yeah, so we put in chapters with the names of each process. So you can kind of, and we give you a list so you can mark off what you've done, kept track of, and um, just advance through the chapters. It's one of the things that Amy, Amy Norris, who's taking the teacher training right now, physical therapist who works with people with osteoporosis and Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, 
says, I mean, it's the best online system I've ever taken. And I've taken a lot of courses. And then she also talks about, by the way, I'll just, just squeeze it in here about how much her patients with osteoporosis love the Bones for Life work because it doesn't trigger all those fears and scares in them. Uh, it feels so much safer to her and to them. Yeah, so um, yeah. So Jana, I, I, and for anybody, I mean, I remember Mary Ann coming on in her 80s. She was 82, I think at the time. She came on like four years ago and said, I did it. I did the four hours. And she said, and I never thought I'd be able to stay more time than that. But she said, you know, it's not like you move nonstop. You move, we talk. There's a break, there's discussions, there's breakout groups, we move. So there are, it's not movement the whole time, but it still could be true, Jana, that you can only stay and be healthy for 15 minutes. So the question is, you know, could you divide it up? And would you go back to it through the week so that you did 15 minutes here and 15 minutes the next day, or maybe you did 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes in the evening. It's, we all start somewhere. So then right. the question is, where do you want to start and can, and can you pace yourself enough that you can get the most out of it? Um, so I'm going to go Jane. Jane, I ask you to unmute Jane. Yeah, hi. I guess I don't know if I wasn't listening right. I want to take... Um, Immersion three, I did, I did one and two. Uh -huh. um, now, and you also said that you can d replay the Bones for Life that you did already. Mm -hmm. Had, I, I can't seem to get into future, the Future Life Now or like- yeah, the Bones for Life to support at Future Life Now so they can help you get in because that's been available to you since the first session. And we send out emails about it in the beginning and remind people. So it's there. So email support at futurelifenow.com. That's, that's who's gonna help you go through this entire process for registration. I'll put it in the comments or if you have any other technical issues, then um, and, uh, you're gonna on that bonesforlife.us page chain that I gave you, you're gonna click on the very bottom one that says I already took immersion one and I wanna know what's next because you've already taken immersion one and you want to know what's next. So you're going to click on that one. And in there, you'll see the option for signing up for immersion three. Okay. And that's bonesforlife.com? No, bonesforlife.us. Dot US, I'm sorry. I'm putting it in the chat there for you. Yeah. Um, and when should that, when do you think the third emo, uh, immersion think should start? Uh, July. I think it comes up in yeah. July. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. But I do that's recommend that you... If you know you want to take it, I would go ahead and register. Um, this, this time of year when we offer Bones for Life is the one that tends to fill up. I'll just tell you, Mondays is the, the hot topic. Always okay. Mondays goes mm -hmm. like hot cakes. Wednesday, okay. Wednesday, Friday evenings go shortly after that. So I know which one's the most popular. Okay. Um, okay. But I would go ahead and search, save your spot so you don't end up with other people taking it just because they, they sign up now. Okay, okay. Yeah. great. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And uh, let's see, let me help with that. Okay. I will be on a retreat. Uh, the last week of March, first week of April, so not able to attend the classes. Can I just work with the replays? Yes, you can. Uh, if you're taking it for your own health, absolutely. There, we have people who do replays only. They write us notes, tell us how things are going, get in the Bones for Life Facebook group, talk about what's going on for them. So you absolutely can, Nora. Um, as well, I have an aggravated hip joint from an injury in 2000, the arthritis. Oh, flares up and really helped alleviate the arthritis. I hope this aggravation doesn't preclude my participation. No, I mean, you know, there, so there's, there's things to think about when we think about our concerns about a movement program, right, Brian? There's getting things aggravated. Yeah. Like you can't make arthritis technically worse 
from the Bones for Life program. The arthritis is there. <laughs> and then the question is, can you move in a way that doesn't cause inflammation or flare ups of it? So uh, you're not gonna make it worse. Uh, the people who have an active injury problem, which you don't, that's, that's an annoyance for sure, but that is not actually an injury. Um, have an active injury, they um, have severe osteoporosis and they've had uh, wedge fractures. Um, people who uh, actually, who uh, uh, I just mentioned your name, works with, Amy works with, with Ehlers-Danlos, which is hypermobility. They actually can easily cause an injury. However, it's a great program for people with Ehlers-Danlos, depending on where you are on that spectrum. Uh, and we could talk with you privately about that to help you make good decisions about that. But I'd say it's a good program for you, Nora. Let's say it's a good program for you. Um, Christy says, if we sign up for immersion one and then later decide we want to continue for immersion two, can we still do it in the months immediately after immersion one? Yeah, as long as there's space and there's usually space um, may not be, you know, there usually is space. So I don't want to like scare everybody into thinking you have to absolutely sign up way ahead, but yeah, it, it should work for you, uh, very well. And I'm going to take now, um, Dawn and let you feel whatever it is she's going to ask Brian. And I'm going to try to get ready for Claudia's payment plan question. Um, yeah, um, I'm, I'd be, I, teach yoga to people with Parkinson's and I'd be interested in in doing the teacher training um, because I've tried the few bits that I've I've got received from you online and it works brilliantly and I, I, that's just a little bit I sort of without really that much knowledge and they love it um, so I would like to do the teacher training um, I'm away uh, for a week the 4th and 10th of March which is as soon as you start um, uh, is it possible to pick it up uh, um, using the videos that one week? Um, Def definitely. That would be a, cake, a lovely. And also regarding the retreat, I, I live in the UK. So I'm wondering where your retreat will be just to factor in the costs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's in the Cincinnati so area. You can, you can, and you should do it on replay, but you will still have to do it live sometime. I think if you miss a whole immersion, you will, it will not be 75%. I think my just, just one week. That, one just week. One, oh, one week. Okay. Yeah. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. Um, yeah. So it's, uh, it's our, currently the retreats are held in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I don't have any plans to change that at this point. Uh, because I finally found a place <laughs> that can work and is, you know, can finally can work for people and without it being overly expensive and uh, and a, a nice place to be for a week together. So it's not simple to find those places in the U.S. or it's certainly not in Cincinnati that people can afford the retreat centers here closed in huge amounts through COVID and many never reopened and then. Um, you know, the pricing went way up for those that have remained. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with the place at this point. So that's probably where it will continue to be. And that's an all-inclusive price of accommodation and food. You will have to pay for your own accommodations and meals. Yeah. Oh, right. So, so we'd we'll have pay, to find we'll accommodations. accommodations, which if you share a room will be about $70 a night right now. Um, and then the meals are on site that you do have to pay for your meals. Yeah. Okay, so you supply the accommodation, but you have to pay that as well. Is that what you're saying? We're going to arrange the accommodation for you. I mean, you'll be able to make your own reservation. We've got blocks of rooms reserved. Okay, right. Okay, so it would be just the flight that I'd need to organize. No, no, you have to pay your flight. You'll have yeah. to pay for the room and your food. Yeah, okay. Okay, Thank you. yeah. Um, let me go to Claudia's question real quick before... I get to um, the next question, next raised hand. So Claudia, if you, the only payment plan that we offer is in the teacher training piece. 
And what happens with it is you pay 575 today, and then you have 15 monthly payments of 184. So we spread it way out for you so that it's not such a big um, burden for you. And actually it's, you know, it's, it's nicer for us too, although it's a risk when we do payment plans, but it's nicer for us because we, we also are people who need to eat each month. So we understand it. Oh, this is Glinda. Glinda has been writing great things. We're ready to hear from you, Glinda. Let me get you on, on here first. Okay. Well, hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much for the wonderful courses and all the free stuff that we could attend. I'm a retired teacher of 36 years and then decided to do massage therapy. So I'm a clinical massage therapist at the age of 71. We have seven grandkids and they are rambunctious, energetic, and they keep me going and moving. <laughs> My question was about the interesting um, pilot study that you had put out for us to look at. And I looked at all the exercises that the seniors were involved in. And because I treat so many seniors in my practice, I was wondering, would all those exercises be included in the immersion? They are, um, yes, from that study, I'm just going through in my mind. Here's the difference, Glinda, is I broke some of them down into smaller pieces for that group. I didn't necessarily always teach the full enchilada uh, in each one. But yes, all of those are in immersion one. Uh, I don't think there was anything in pro immersion two. And as I recall, that's already been quite a few years ago and I didn't look at that list recently. Uh, and I do teach differently now, of course, for IEDEC. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking of like all different things going through my head. Yeah. It's so very usable. I mean, what, how have you found it, Brian, when you first started? Oh my goodness. Yeah. I mean, the, the toolkit that we get from Bones for Life is so adaptable for really almost anyone, which is yes. why I think it's so brilliant. So yes. even little pieces of a process could yes. be enough for a person. Because uh, I have some of the books that was mentioned in when we had that uh, the free sessions from you. And I've been reading through that and watching you do and then read and then practice myself because what I want to do is do it myself, feel how it improves my life and then pass it on to my clients, you know, one at a time. It's not um, to bombard them with a lot of exercises. So yeah, that's, yeah. that is my hope. <laughs> that's great. Yeah. Well, I think Glinda, you know, you, there are sometimes people who sign up who think that, that it will be something they learn only to teach with others, but I've never had anyone come out of the program saying that they didn't get a lot out of it for themselves. And for this kind of work, if you don't feel it in yourself, you cannot teach it. It is definitely a growth from the inside out. And uh, you will not teach it well if you don't feel it at all for yourself. Yeah. So I, I think it's it's a beautiful idea. And yeah. for massage therapists, it depends, your success in using it with clients really depends on, you know, whether you have in your image, um, clients will let you teach them something because some, a lot of massage therapy clients only want to lie on a table. So you got to get them ready, Glenda, start yeah. getting them ready. <laughs> Yes, I, this is your I, little. This is your little uh, <laughs> hint right now. Start getting them ready right. with little. Yeah, because I'm I'm clinical massage therapist, and I've uh, trained in. Uh, I'm a brain gym instructor, so I've got the education okay. educational kinesiology training, the Mascatova method. I've got so many other modalities, but I just thought that. This will just be the icing on the top. A nice little extra <laughs> the piece. cherry on the top. <laughs> extra piece. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Thank yeah, you thank so you. much for that. Thanks. Hope we're thank excited you. to have you. <clears throat> Carol. <laughs> Carol. Yes. Hi, sorry, I'm invisible. That's um, okay. But <laughs> 
Um, I've so I've so enjoyed it. And um, I'm wondering two questions. First, do you anticipate offering a limited disability class in the near future? You, you um, mentioned it. In my, I don't, not, not within Bones for Life, no. Okay. I, if you are a member of your learning body, my online Feldenkrais membership, I teach a limited mobility class in there once a year. Okay. And I just got done teaching it's usually in the fall. You <laughs> become a member there, you would have access to last falls. It's an incredibly good class, highly, highly influenced by Bones for Life. Um, but um, I don't offer a limited mobility class for people in general. It's only if you're part of my membership. Okay, that's, that's good information. If you want information on that, I would uh, write in to uh, support at futurelifenow.com and tell them that I told you to, to write in and, I'll, and you and I can talk. Okay, that's perfect. And then the second quick question. Um, these um, ex explorations we've been doing these last three, three sessions, are those actually part of the, uh, the immersion one or will we actually have access to the replays of these three sessions because they've just been brilliant? Oh, that's a good question. Go ahead, Brian. Uh, both, they were, so one, first of all, they were processes from immersion one and two. The one Andrea taught was from immersion two. And you do, once you, once you sign up for immersion one, you do get access to these replays, these three sessions that we've offered. Uh, so it's it's a yes and a yes. Oh, I'm a happy girl. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And if I don't talk to you again, thank you so much. It's been just a, something to look forward to. Um, and just both of you bring so much. Um, you just make it such a appealing, inviting thing to do. You just go through your, your personalities and just. So thank you for for, for doing this, and, and I look forward to the immersion. Thank you. Good. Thanks, Karen. Good. Um, so Jana, you want to contact support at futurelifenow.com and tell them that you talked with me and you need <clears throat> access to a class for, um, disability. It's not that somebody with a disability cannot benefit from this course, but there, there is going to be somewhat of a limit to how much we can adjust every single process for you. So we did uh, make a lot of adjustments and for you in what we did but not every single process, certainly not every single process in 90, for example, are you gonna find that if you're unable to get up and down or um, lie flat or stand, that there's gonna be always an adaptation. If you're studying with someone privately, they can always come up with adaptations according to your unique situation. The word disability is huge. And so when, when somebody says they have a disability, and then you really have to understand the nature of it in order to really customize classes for them. There's no way to make a class for all disabilities. It really is so dependent on the type. So dependent on the type. Um, let me scroll back up here a little bit to see. I think there was another question up here. Uh, who teaches the classes? Thank you so much, because I should have said that. Uh, actually, Brian and Andrea are the primary teachers in Immersion 1 through 3. I come in to each one of them for a short time, but they are the primary teachers of Immersion 1 through 3, doing a fantastic job. And then I am the uh, teacher trainer. I'm the trainer for the teachers. So you will see me, but not a lot during Immersions 1 through 3. You will, you will be studying with the, with the fabulous Brian and Andrea. And they usually go back and forth on Mondays, Wednesday and Friday nights. They pretty much split that 50-50. Uh, however, Friday mornings is going to be Brian only. Friday mornings is gonna be Brian only. You see from uh, Sharon, for those in Cincinnati, is commuting a possibility during the retreat? Maybe, I mean, it's a pretty hefty drive to Houston Woods for me, um, but, uh, but maybe not for you. So it just depends on where Houston Woods is in relationship to you, Sharon. You'll know, you'll know what Houston Woods is. So and see if I missed anything else. 
Uh, yes, the Wednesday morning classes, for those of you who have already taken Immersion One will still be recorded. Do you need to join Facebook? No, I mean, Facebook is just another potential touch point because people, some people like it, some people don't. You know, it's, it's not important. There might be a few things that happen there and you might think, oh, I'm being really left out, but it's not that important. Definitely not that important. Uh, let's see if I'm missing anything. Yes, if you have personal questions, you can write them in to support at futurelifenow.com. I'll try to respond to them. Also, there'll be an opportunity to schedule a little short um, consults with Brian and myself later in this week, I think. Is it later this week? I think something yes. like that. Yeah. Um, Barack, I'm gonna ask you to unmute, Barack. Yeah, hi. Um... Um, what's about the, um, the, the breakdown of three immersions? Um, what is the thinking rationale behind that? What is the rationale behind three immersions? That was yes. that the question? Yeah, okay. yes, go ahead, Brian. I, I'm so on my, on my cell phone and traveling so if there's yeah just a, a little little bit hard to hear you guys so i just wanted to be sure i got the crux of the question go ahead brian great question so first of all ruth elon created 90 processes and wanted to, to kind of uh gather them into immersions or segments to make it a little bit easier to understand what she was up to i think in some ways and so immersion one starts with some, I would say, basic concepts that run through, those basic concepts run through the entire program. And they're some of the best things, honestly. And we've done some of them together. That's why so many people have had big ahas, right? And then immersion two builds on those processes. And then immersion three, as Cynthia had mentioned, starts to begin to work with improving our equilibrium and learning to fall well, learning to fall well. So that's why those processes are kind of later after we've really gotten a good sense of ourselves through immersion one and immersion two, immersion three is uh, maybe bigger challenge in some ways, bigger challenge for a lot of us. It's really a lot of fun, honestly. All, each of the immersions is fun. Something yeah. else? It's a, it's a, it's like, it's just like a big spiral to me. So it's like the, it's, you start, you start here, and you get the, the basics, right? And then it's just this constantly building. Sometimes you dip back down, you reinforce, then you add more, then you dip back down, you reinforce, then you add more, then you dip back down, you reinforce, you add more. And then when you get up to the top, you go, hold it, the whole thing was just one great big giant lesson. <laughs> the same thing. It's just like, it's just like coalesces in your mind kind of in a way in which you realize we've just been organically coming at this issue of being able to be adaptable in our environment uh, in such a whole bunch of different ways. In such a whole bunch of different ways. Yeah, it's good. Right. Um, yeah, the, I don't remember the name of the, the restaurant. It would be, we'll be staying at the Houston Woods um, Park Center. And I don't know, I don't have Robbie the exact name, but if you want to send in an email, I'll, I'll find the exact name for you. We did talk to them quite a bit and looked at the menu and felt that it had a lot of options. And then there's also a little refrigerator and microwave in each room, but I, I think it has enough options for people who need gluten-free. Um, it was one of our big problems was how to address diet. So that put so many places off the list for retreat centers around here. Um, because they cater to children more and then adults coming in, they're like, you don't want hot dogs? I'm like, no, no, we don't want hot dogs. Um, and yes, Bonnie, there will be a replay of this. There absolutely will be a replay of this. And I'm going to get to Sherry in a minute. Sherry, I'm going to ask you on a mute while I take this question from Donna. If one chooses the full course, phase one goes from the end of February to the end of July, 
and phase two begins in January 2024. So we're off for the fall of 2023. Yes, you are off for the fall of 2023. We usually have to have that time for other things, to be honest. And then we will usually be able to find ways to keep you connected. So we have surprises for you about the fall of 2023 that will allow you to keep connected and not feel like you just fell off the face of the earth, um, Donna. So we're, we're aware that that time frame can, for some people, feel long. And for other people, they're like, goody, goody, I want to, I'm going to break. Uh, what, what, what month will the onsite retreat take place? Um, I would like to get it to be moved into the July timeframe. I did not reserve it enough ahead of time to be able to get it in the July timeframe, but um, that's kind of what I'm looking for, hoping for uh, at this point. And I'm, I'm working with them already on those dates, uh, tentatively on those dates. Things have been really difficult. Again, even places that are open, they don't want to take reservations very far ahead and blah, blah, blah. It's, been a little challenging. Oh, Brenda, good, good. It is a beautiful area. It's very peaceful, very peaceful. Okay, um, did I lose somebody? Oh, I got Sherry. Go ahead, Sherry. I'm going to add you to the screen here. I can't hear you yet. Can you unmute? You were unmuted, and then you lost. Okay, your I'm unmuted now. Yeah. Um, my question had to do with the Wednesday morning classes. So I just completed uh, immersion one, and um, the the times of the um, the immersions for two and three just don't work for me. But I'd like to continue. So my question is: In the Wednesday classes, will you be teaching any processes that were not part of one, like anything that might you know cover some of two and three? And are the classes going to be thematic, or how how are they going to be organized? Great question. Nice to see you again, Sherry. So we will we'll, we will review a number of the processes in Immersion 1, uh, but we will not be just held by things in Immersion 1. So certainly we'll be getting a chance to explore, like we did in this series, some things from Immersion 2. So, um, so yes. And will they be organized thematically? Well, that's a great question. Great question. This is the first time we've offered it. So. Um, I'd really like to hear from the group a little bit. Once our group meets, like I'm going to come ready on on that first day, but I'd like to find out from the group that day um, what you're most interested in, what you're curious about, so that we can grow together that particular class. The primary reason for that group is for people who need that weekly touch point for their own health. So it's not going to be to try to cover curriculum related to the trainings per se. It's important to recognize that, I think. If what you're really wanting is to work through the curriculum. I don't think that's a, a choice that you want, but if you wanna keep a you wanna keep your toe in and feeling and sensing and growing in what you know ab about already, I would say it's a great option. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sherry. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you, everybody. So we hope to have you in Bones for Life. We do limit the number of people per session. So you've been on big sessions with us and you've also been in big sessions with other people. And in and and these classes, we limit them to around 50. Sounds like a lot of people and it is, but it's not 400 you're used to seeing. We are trying to stay small and personalized, which means that the, um, the profit margin is much, much smaller as well. But it, we know it's important to be able to make personal connections and, and you to be able to ask questions and for you to be able to be in small breakout groups. And it's, it's, a, lovely, it's a lovely experience. So, um, so just to let you know that that's why I said that they usually fill up. It's because we're not make, we're not taking an unlimited number of people. We do have a cap on each one of them. And um, Brian, do you feel like we missed anything? No, no. It's been so fun. So can, 
So whether we see you in this or not, and we certainly hope to see you in this program for sure, uh, whether we do or not, though, we hope you keep bouncing on heels. If it's a good thing for you, of course, you should choose what's right for you and um, and that you realize that we just barely, barely taught you stuff about alignment. There's so much more to learn from so many more different angles and uh, and that you would just just the way some people have said, oh, my gosh, I just did the replays on that and got more out of it. You would continue to get more and more. There's a lot of incredible surprises in store for you if you do the program. So uh, no, Vitality is definitely not closed. You send an, send your email to Brian if you know Vitality, just go to their website. Okay, everybody, we appreciate you a lot and look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks in the program. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.